all we will make it out. Sweet and take the safer route. Now it's ownership and bank accounts. What's the beef with that cake about? Young and black on that paper route. They never thought we will make it out. Hey, look. We don't flash money, we stash money. Get our roll on big time and like cash money. All my niggas chasing checks. Rest in peace, the son. Fat nigga. Ready, y'all, ready, y'all, ready, y'all. Welcome back. It's the Richard Hart Podcast. It's your boy, Munchie B. And your girl, Mariah, the princess of the pod. And we back again. And blessed to be here. Because on the way here, unfortunately, had a hiccup. Man, me and a female friend had an accident. But Mariah came to the rescue, came and grabbed me. <laughs> so, you know, here he is. We, we, we here to serve y'all, you know. Superwoman in the flesh here. Uh, check her out. Looking out. <laughs> Everything. What's going on, I'm all right. Nothing much. I was just seeing earlier um, this morning that today, this week marks the fourth uh, year anniversary of um, coronavirus. Oh, so it hit this week four years ago. Four years ago, yes, this week. Do you remember where you were when like the news hit? Mm, nah, I just remember that whole when the first. I can remember the first week of it and everybody is. I thought it was gonna be something small. Just, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then it just toilet paper crazy. Yeah. Everybody was like, I couldn't get the, I, why everybody was rushing for the toilet paper though out of everything. Yeah. The toilet paper, the water. I still, I, I kind of, I kind of don't understand. It was like uh random stuff. People were just buying like and going hysterical over. And it was an outage on so many things to the point where they were having, a, um, you, you were limited to buy like two waters um, one and one car. You're only allowed to buy like one pack of toilet paper. <laughs> like it was it, crazy. People were scared to cough, trying to muffle their coughs. Like, <clears throat> I'm like, oh man, this shit crazy. So let me ask you this. Do you remember like around November and December of 2019, right before um, COVID actually hit, did you get sick around that time? Nah, I recall people saying they was getting sick though. Yeah, I, I was one of the people. I was really sick and they couldn't, they just said, oh, it's just the flu, but it was terrible 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 but i'm like a home remedy person so i was just doing natural home remedies i wasn't scared though when they declared i was still working the whole time i just ended up working from home and i was chilling i wasn't tripping because you was working from home but i wasn't even afraid i was going back and forth from california to atlanta back and forth like every other month so oh, I wasn't so you were still catching flights during the pandemic yeah because of um i had to send my good kid. old prices huh? the, the, oh yeah, you took advantage ooh, i boy did i take advantage <laughs> but i wasn't like i'm not saying that i wasn't it wasn't scary to, you know, for people catching it, but I'm saying like, um, I wasn't really like af- afraid of like my immune system or I wasn't doing stupid stuff. I was just saying, I mean, flying is stupid, I guess, but I had to get my kids back and forth. Okay. So was you, you, you was, you was one of them, uh, I'm against the vaccine type people. Yeah. Only because I already get migraines and I wasn't trying to like put anything in my body that I didn't necessarily need. Like to me, that was just how I looked at it. And then that's going to cause, you know, you, you said you have migraines too, right? Like you I used to, I don't have them no more. Like it seemed like I grew out of them, but I used to have them bad. Yeah, so you you understand like what I mean? You like you don't want to do anything to trigger one because once they come, they come in like spurts. And I was like, I don't want to do anything that's gonna trigger a migraine when I already got them. So and did, I was. So did you ever end up getting the vaccine? No. Mm. Uh, okay. No. And then I had I hadn't had the flu up until like recently again since then since 2019. So you 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 had to uh, you must have moved back. Before they start mandating that you get the vaccine to fly. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Or no, actually a little shortly after. But honestly, I'm I'm one of those people that I'm so thankful it didn't mess up my my life like with work or anything. I was I was lucky. They didn't mess up like anything for me as far as that. I know a lot of people are losing their jobs and like um like mentally unhealthy, all kinds of things are happening, but it didn't really affect my life in that aspect. Like I still was able to work and do everything I was doing regularly. I got the vaccine first and second. My baby, me and my me and my baby mama both got it. My my mom got it. My dad got it. And my oldest daughter wanted to get it, so she, so she got it. Of course, my youngest, my eight year old, she wasn't gonna get it. And uh, my brother, he caught COVID in the penitentiary. Ooh. So, so, so that guy, they let him out early because of that shit too. Oh, that's terrible. Um, did you notice anything different when you had? took the shot like did you feel any different Mm-mm. so you just i know my grandparents got it i don't think my parents had to, did they didn't get in it but no i didn't i just i'm i don't know i just if if i'm kind of like if he broke don't fix it because of me i don't like i don't want to trigger a migraine that's really why i was like oh heck no and then it was it was seemed like 
it kind of remind, reminded me of like it, it just came out too fast the shot and it just i don't know i don't there was enough research on it and i don't want nothing to happen <laughs> so i was like i'm not trying to be a guinea pig and then later be like if you are affected by the covid vaccination you are <laughs> i i i got it because because for one if because i'm the one running the streets right so if mm -hmm. i get it then my kids ain't got to get the shot you know what i mean mm -hmm. so if if uh I, Especially like my my eight year olds, I I wouldn't want her to get it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I don't. You know what I'm saying? So I'd rather take it since I'm the one running the streets and I'm coming back to the house. So I'll take the shot so they don't have to take it. Yeah, I I mean I get it. Um, I mean like to each his own. But so you never you never had COVID then, at mm, all? No. Oh, okay. But, I was but my my oldest daughter, she she got the shot and still caught COVID. Yeah, there was those cases, and sometimes, cause you know, when you used to get, you you had to get the flu shot um, before, cause now you technically don't have to. I'm really worried about. I don't think I ever got the flu shot before. What you mean? It was mandatory at one point. Yeah, and like the whooping cough, certain certain vaccinations, and I don't think I ever. Yeah, I know I used to get the flu actually right after I would get the shot. It would make me sick. I get a fever and everything, so that's why I really don't mess with vaccinations. Uh, I don't think I ever got the flu shot. You sure it was, it was mandatory? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, but I I. I, I I don't know, but you know they 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 inject you with the flu so your body could be immune to it, mm -hmm. and then you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I just be doing my little natural remedies to like knock it out. If it's gonna take me a week or two to get back. I'd rather do that because <laughs> I'm like I don't need nothing. I'm not trying to get a headache or for no reason. I don't know. I'm I, I'm 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 I don't know. I, I ain't against none of the little. I don't I don't mess with the flu shot though. I don't mess with the flu shot. I think. People like uh, my mom that work at schools with the kids and all that, and I'm, she probably should have to take it. You know what I'm saying? All them, you know, them little kids be con contagious. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? But you know, I, I I ain't really uh, you know. That just goes to show you, like four years ago today, people were not even considering like using hand sanitizer the way they were supposed to, washing their hands. Like I was, a, I'm already a germaphobe, so that type of stuff. I was like, I've been doing this. This is nothing. And even though I wear long nails, I'm always constantly washing my hands, even though what people think, regardless of what people think. Um, I'm very, I don't know. I just like, y'all wasn't doing this before. <laughs> okay. All right. So do you think the DM rate went up or down due to COVID? They still hopping in DMs trying to pull up or? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay. Like, okay. It's COVID. Everybody oh, stay in the house. The curfew. Don't go outside. Whatever. You think it's still people? I'm hopping in. Hey, trying to pull up and shit. Ah, uh, yeah, I think uh, it seemed like more people were were really bored. Like that really affected a lot of people that were outside. You like to be outside, so did it affect you like that? Nah, cause um, I could be. Uh, I I got a job. You know what I'm saying? I work for who I work for. I just clocking to work, and I could be outside. But you know, cause California had strict rules. So. Oh no, the strip clubs are still going. Doll, a dollhouse and all that shit. Yeah, um, Atlanta was still very active, but yeah, I think more people were bored. The people were very creative. That showed a lot of people how to be more creative. So yeah, I would say like the DM rate probably did go higher. I would yeah, say out of boredom. Yeah, out of boredom. Yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't uh, paranoid or nothing like that. I just, you know, I me. Mean? I know people was getting what about to get packed out for even coughing or even. Oh yeah. <laughs> there's this this is my favorite video when if they first like pronounced that it was going to be um like a global pandemic i'm sorry not pronounced announced um there's this video of these dudes in new york arguing with each other and they're like how are you going to tell me and they're trying to break down what covid covid stands for did you, did you ever see that video it's mm. super funny like people were going crazy everybody thought there was a doctor or a nurse like it was pretty funny hey but see covid been a thing bro like you yeah. know what i'm saying it's in the it's in the back of the pine saw bottle and all that but it's just a, a, a stronger strain, COVID nineteen. So when people like you said, like the the the, uh, the 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 vaccine came out a little too soon for you, you were trying to be a guinea pig. It was already in the making. They already studying. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was already at this already though. You know what I'm saying? Do you think there's a conspiracy behind COVID nineteen? Nah. <laughs> you know me. I, 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 don't, I don't see. I don't see what could what what how could the government benefit off of it? It's so it's. Some people say popu um, population control. Um, it's a lot of things, but I mean, is population control as far as a, a certain race. Mm-hmm. Because I think the white people was catching it just as fast or, or, or as often as 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 the black people. Okay, so when it first came out, they were saying black people couldn't get COVID. <laughs> 
at, when I was in Atlanta when this came out, I'm like, who is telling y'all this? Anybody can catch it. Like social media. Yeah, um, they were coming up with. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm, that's stupid. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Don't don't watch the news. Don't watch Instagram. People. A lot of people just watch Instagram and, and get they. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's their news. The that's I'm, crazy. I I. I wasn't scared because I'm I'm pretty good under pressure, which is really weird. Being that um, I don't know, I, I could I wasn't scared and I wasn't like thinking I was exempt because I had just got I just had the flu and they just did it was terrible, but that was it. I was sick for like two and a half weeks. But I, I ain't never had the flu, never had. N Remember our, when we was younger, everybody was like chicken pox. I I never caught chicken pox, and and why I don't hear about nobody catching catching chicken pox these days? Do you know where chicken pox came from? Of course not. Okay. <laughs> I just know chicken in there. Like, what, where it come from? I'll tell you off of here, because it might offend some people. Like being, oh, yeah, yeah sex, sections we, and group. Okay, we but ain't anyways, to get canceled. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, but I will say this. Um, when I was younger, watching Home Alone, I wanted chicken pox. I don't know why. Don't ask me. <laughs> I wanted to get out of school and get chicken pox, and I'm glad I never got it though. Now that I realize, seem like chicken pox not a thing no more. I don't hear about kids catching it. That when I was in elementary, I heard about kids catching it. Yeah, it was it was a big thing. I remember being in elementary school. Um, what else? I don't chicken pox, what was another thing? That no, was, just that, that was, was it, it, huh? Yeah, back. Do you remember do you remember the Scarlet Fever? Uh-uh. Oh, is it Scarlet Fever? I think it is. I think that was around um Hell that no, that sounds like some shit from my grandmother days or something. Maybe it's not Scarlet Fever, maybe it's called something else. I think it was some type of fever. I can't remember. It was like in the um late nineties that was out. I can't think of what it is. Dang. I don't think it's called Scarlet Fever, though. <laughs> it might be something else. That does sound like from, like, the 50s or 60s. And and, and uh, as of recently, me and, uh, me and Spotter, we kicked off a, 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 little, a little thing we doing once a week on his channel with me and him. Kicking cack, being bull. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, that, that, it, it been going up over there. Everybody go go check out that. And... and uh, Oh yeah, I sent my condolences to him. He lost his boy Puto. Never met him. I heard a lot about him. Alex talked about him. You know what I mean? Uh, Spider tagging it hard. You know what I mean? So I sent my condolences his way. But uh, everybody go mess mess with uh, kicking cack being bull. You know what I mean? And then what? Whose channel is it? Is it on? It's on. It's on. Uh, it's on. It's on Spider shit. Mo, uh, most Easty. Am I saying it right? Spider Mo Easty. I'll get it right by the end of this. Yeah, it's on his. And then, you know what I mean? I'm still, I'm about to rev up my channel. I'm I'm, I'm warming up the car, so, you know what I'm saying? And everybody go look out for uh, Mariah. Mariah got some ish coming. You know what I mean? Yes. So, like I said, to you and you and Spider, like two bad kids together. Oh, yeah. She said we like some <laughs> baby kids. Hey, but no, the last one, it wasn't, it wasn't baby kid. I liked it. I got a, I got a little too... A little too, uh, you know what I'm saying, on the second to the last one. You know what I'm saying? But the, the last, the, the very last one, I had to learn how to control. It was cool. Good. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. So you wasn't being a bad kid this time. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Love I, to hear it. I, I put myself in check. You know what I'm saying? Good. I love to hear that. <laughs> no, nah, for real, for real. No more baby kids. But no, nah, but when you are, so what kind of con what, what kind of content you about to fire up on your shit once you get get the uh, uploading? <sighs> I am, Are you I think still? I'm thinking of like a journalistic approach of things. Um, believe it or not, that's like really more my lane, like um, history and stuff. And um, so I'm trying to figure out what can make it seem more interesting for, for listeners and viewers um, in today's time. Uh, or what you mean? What you mean? You taking a journalistic type? Um, so mean? when I say that, like the things that I'm interested in, like history, mm -hmm. um, and that could be of anything, like it could be about Los Angeles. It could be about like ancient history. It could be about anything. Um, that's more like my lane, um, positivity, maybe like trying some, um, restaurants out here. Um, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. It's, I'm kind of like revamping it, putting it in the works. Okay. 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 I got a, I got a female friend. I went to high school with she into uh this was this what she do. She she flew out there. She that what's that little place? Is that where uh Left Eye lost her life at? She into the yoga thing. Okay. She, she do all that. You know, y'all y'all can link up and she 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 good with the meditating and all that. In Honduras. Honduras, yeah. She mm -hmm. she just recently came back from there. Like that's what she do. Like Yeah, you know that's man? dope. I definitely gotta get her info. That's dope. That's yeah, like y'all can link up and talk that. Like that that that'll be that'll be smooth. 
Yeah, because on um, our way up here, I was trying to ask um, Munchie if he believes in aliens. <laughs> I believe it's something out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't think it's aliens on Earth. You know what I'm saying? Other than these little ugly females. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> but other than that, like out there, is is something we can't explain, and that's 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 that's, that's living beings. That's outside of our, you know what I'm saying? And I believe it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So before we get into our topic, let me just ask you this one question. Mm -hmm. Do you think that humans built the pyramids in Egypt? Or do you think that possibly there are other species out there with high intelligence built the pyramids? I can't answer that. I have to double back. When we double back, I'm going to have an answer. I got to do some research. I just came like off the back and just like throw something out there. Because <laughs> then I'll be freestyling. And they be like, man, what the he talking about? Baby? I... Now think about it too. Do your research, but think about it. These pyramids are built with, they're like the the blocks. I don't know if they're, con the, the uh, dang, I can't think the bricks or whatever you want to call them. They're made out of limestone and they're tons. And to build a so pyramid. Each, so, each, so each brick is a ton. Base, they're tons, yes. And not only that, it's, all this is connected with sound, um, science. Uh, it's like super high in, in like super high intelligence that we can't even interpret as humans. So that was able to interpret it because you you see they 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 wording that they was writing that little hieroglyphs. Uh, it's but it's hieroglyphs. mathematics. It's everything. It's what it's everything all combined in one to build these pyramids. Knowing how like the the way the world is, some people have. Let me just not go there. All right, let's get into today's topic. Hey, no, 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 no. You throw it my way, and I'm gonna come when we when we double back. I'm I'm, I'm gonna be ready. Yeah, because I'm stumbling on my words because I'm like it's so much information. It's like so much. Yeah, I need you to watch a documentary. That's your homework for the week. Yeah, because I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm over here stumbling on my words. I don't even sound like I know what I'm talking about, but I know what I'm trying to say. But. Speaking of uh, um, intelligence, because for them to, uh, so what you, hold on, hold on, hold on. So what, so what you saying, that they didn't have like the things like we had like to move bricks and detonate yeah, things. Yeah, because like, where would they get this equipment from? Mm -hmm. Think about it. Like we're, we, we don't know. They're still doing research and finding secret pathways in the pyramids. Okay. And tunnels and things. And I don't know if it's a secret or a mystery. Or maybe we're just not supposed to know this stuff. Or maybe we are. Or is it extraterrestrials that help build these things? We don't know. All right. I'm going to figure it out by time. Well, I'm going to have what I believe, you know what I'm saying, my best guess when, when we come back. Yeah. And I encourage all the listeners to read the book of Enoch. That kind of gives you a good idea. And, and I encourage y'all to stay in school, which leads us to our first little get up Northwest. Kanye's daughter mm -hmm. debut album dropping elementary school dropout and that is clever as hell yes so those who don't remember Kanye dropped that album February of 2004 I believe uh the college dropout so I seen a lot of people in the comments like why are they um bragging about her dropping out of elementary school I don't think that's who the route they're going she's okay, she wants to be just like music. her dad right she wants to be like her dad I don't it doesn't have anything to do with her dropping out of school. I highly doubt her mother's going to go for that or her father. Now, I do know Kanye does not want her going to that celebrity school. Um, I forgot what it's called. Most of the celebrities send their, send their kids to this uh, school. It's an elementary school, and I believe maybe a high, uh, junior high and high school. They, they all go there. It's like in, um, over there in the hills. Oh, in California? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just know he doesn't want her to go there, and that was like something he said like last week. I wonder why. He said something about it not being real, or maybe he doesn't like what they're teaching not being real or he probably wanted his, his, his daughter to be more uh grounded like, yeah you know what down saying? to earth but these days kanye not down there <laughs> so i want i don't know yeah that's i think that's probably where that's the kanye everybody missed the the, the college dropout kanye, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. the kanye that got on the got on the news and said anything he wanted to say <laughs> said uh what's cut don't care about it george, george bush. bush don't care about it <laughs> He had, oh, what was his name? The guy that played on Austin Powers. <laughs> oh. It was him and Kanye. They were on the news and they were talking about uh, when Hurricane Katrina hit. <laughs> Kanye said, like, George Bush doesn't like black people. <laughs> hey, he, he wasn't lying. He wasn't. I miss that Kanye. For real. He wasn't. Hey, not, or I get too much off subject and getting into that, but yeah, I miss, I miss the college dropout Kanye. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kanye does have some, he has some really good, well, he does still, some of his songs um, are still very dope. Even his, like him taking it 
the other route to like um gospel it's it's still pretty dope i just um, jesus walks oh yeah uh, that's that's the wire fun. I used uh, to play spaceship on my way to work, but that's on the co- is it the co- is that on the college dropout spaceship? Spaceship, spaceship. Well, what's that? Hit it for me. No. <laughs> Come on, man, hit that shit. No. Go ahead. Show, 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 uh, show, chance. No, nah, I'm, I'm okay. But anyways, yeah, Kanye has some some bangers forever. Nah, he uh, so you think that's his that's his like uh, best album? Mmm. I don't really. I can't. That's the only one I can name. Honestly, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't really. I can, I guess only because I don't really listen to albums like that. I'm. I'm with any artist, but Tupac, and DMX. Hey, I think we on the same page. Yeah, I don't really listen to albums. After, after the Carters, I can't really. Uh, after the Carters, I can't really. <laughs> Okay. I don't know how how that how that got past me. No, nah, that that sound that sound cool. I see. I know your vibe though. Uh, yeah. Uh, music. I, yeah. I've been in a car with you enough, but like, yeah, I know your vibe. No, no, that that's hard. That's the Kanye we miss, man. You feel me? Yeah. He he got some he got some cool song, but I don't. I probably listen to like three songs on an album. I don't. I can't listen to albums like that. I just. I know I'm a single junkie. I'm a yeah. single junkie. After I, college dropout, I like on the Carters and uh, when I was in the sixth grade, uh, uh, Chicken and Beer, Ludacris. Oh uh, yeah, like that was um, that's what Blueberry Yum Yum is that one? Is he is that on there? And, and uh, when I was like, I remember when that seven o'clock on the dot. Oh, what, what's the name of that? What's the name of that? Uh, <laughs> I think the pro- it's just called Usher, right? Yeah, it's uh, Usher's. And I remember like the the the, the, uh, the cover was like the city that was like teal, a teal like it's teal like green. Is that the same shit? Uh, yeah, like a blue green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I I remember that uh, you know, CD like forever. Yeah, I, when I was little, I probably listened because we had no choice. We had CDs. <laughs> we had to, it wasn't like we could just skip over until iPads came about. Nice then, and slow. Nice and slow. There you go. <laughs> That's the name of it. Uh, Usher, yeah, nice and slow. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, back to Northwest. Northwest about to. I wonder, uh, Dan, did it say when it dropped? Uh, uh, uh. She just said she's working on. It. I think I don't remember. Oh, um, it's in, it's in pro. It's in. It's in, yeah, she's working on it. I mean, um, that's cool. Like she's been a celebrity since <laughs> she before she was born. So I mean, that's that's her lane, I guess. That's I, dope. I, that's that's crazy, right? Cause all right, my all right, my daughter was at the house and. She was remembering her poem. She had to remember rise because she had to remember this poem for Black History Month at her school. Mm-hmm. So she don't really watch. Uh, all she watches YouTube and TikTok on, on TV. Mm-hmm. Uh, go to the boom boom. So she like was playing beats on there and she starts spitting her poem to a beat off TikTok. I'm like, okay. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to put her in the studio. You hear me? Like what? Because she sees that. Like, so do you think that like if your daughter was to like, take it serious, would you let her be like an artist, or if she was like to do like spoken word poetry or something like you just said? Yeah, hell yeah. Because I'm gonna be there right like every step of the way. It ain't, it ain't. You know what I'm saying? You know how people be. You have to, uh, you know, uh, like what you what's that called? You put get, get, like not <clears throat> how Bow Wow and Jermaine Dupri at you under his what's the word? Uh, his his record label. Nah, all right, you, like you got custody of them, but not custody. Oh, guardianship. Not, guardianship. So I wouldn't. I ain't worried about the little funny bunny stuff happening. Hell yeah, me, and, yeah, me and my daughter gonna be hitting the road. I got more than enough time. You know what I'm saying? So does that take away? Because I seen a lot of people saying with Northwest, that's taken away from her being a normal child. She already not a normal child. That's what that's what I was thinking. Because I have a daughter the same age. So I'm like, well, technically she's already was born into this, so she would never be able to live like a normal. None of the kids. I mean, I see that they play sports and stuff, but if she wants to be creative like her dad, then that's dope. I mean, if he's supporting her. Man, these musicians, uh, not all, but like the ones A-list celebrities, they they already not normal. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They 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 are like a, a social a social life having friends. Like you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you know we Socially went outside. Awkward. <laughs> I, I gonna say I ain't gonna put that on them, but. They get they I'm go, socially awkward. They're not just going outside and knocking on the door. Can you, hey, could they come outside and play and all that shit? It ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it it's pretty it's pretty dangerous too because you don't know people's intentions. They got they all got to be around other rich people, rich kids, basically. Well, 
Let me see. I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, you gotta have some homies with some rich. You know what I'm saying your other rich friends and y'all they play dates and all that. Yeah, I, I don't know what that's like. I mean, I lived a really good childhood, but yeah, that's. See, we. Oh, I'm only based off of what I know, so I don't know. I used to. I used to. I thought I was rich when I was a kid because I was just. <laughs> I didn't know the difference. I, but speaking of uh, speaking of rich kids, speaking of uh, play 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 dates and playmates, we got a clip. Run, run, run a clip, double A. The three richest children in the USA. The net worth of the last one is insane. Number three, Northwest. The daughter of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West enjoys a lavish lifestyle with an estimated net worth of $375 million. Born into the Kardashian-Jenner empire, North benefits from her family's successful ventures in reality TV, fashion, and beauty. With a trust fund, lucrative brand deals, and her own clothing line, this nine-year-old is set to inherit a substantial fortune. Number two, Stormy Webster, the daughter of Kylie Jenner, boasts an impressive net worth of $570 million at just five years old. Kylie, being a beauty mogul, has strategically incorporated Stormy into her business endeavors, featuring her in product promotions and creating a children's line inspired by her. Stormy's early exposure to fame and fortune sets her on a path to inherit significant entrepreneurial opportunities. Before revealing the number one, remember to subscribe and like the video. Number one, Blue Ivy Carter, the daughter of Beyonce and Jay-Z, is already a financial force with a net worth of $800 Listen, they would never know what it feel like to be. Well, that yeah, that's normal to them. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's nothing for them. That, yeah, that that's normal. Uh, that's they normal. You know what I mean. That's what they born into. Jeez, to be a kid and have. I mean, shout out to their parents for setting them up for life. Right. You know. Right. Um, right. But, jeez, that's amazing. Right. But see, now, the uh, Obamas, Michelle Obama, Barack Obama. Shout out to them. They was in the in the, in the uh, White House. They made sure their kids made their own beds. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They they wanted them to be as normal as possible. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, man, it's a blessing though. Yeah, I think that's that's dope. Like to still have and still like the regular independence. The, the independency, like where you're not too prude and you don't know how to have, don't know how to do anything. Even I used to watch the Paris Hilton show. Um, her and Lionel Richie's daughters, um, show they had together, and. She was. They made her seem like a prude. She wasn't smart. She didn't know how to make a bed. She didn't know what a mop was, a broom. But Paris Hilton came out later on and said, "I knew what all those things were. That was just a part." Like, she went through a lot of stuff, and her parents had sent her off to like this bad school. And basically, the show what was funny and entertainment for us as kids watching it was like her not knowing how to use a mop because she was so rich, or knowing how to clean or make her bed. But she knew how to do those things because she went off to this school. Um, those those schools like when you're getting in trouble and running away. Mm -hmm. um, one of those schools in Utah. They end up shutting them down. But um, she know how to do all those things, but on the show they made it seem like she just was so rich she didn't have to do anything. Ah, uh, for sure. If I hit a meal ticket tomorrow, I'm a, I'm gonna make sure my daughter still, uh, you know what I'm saying, know how to carry themselves and be 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 independent and don't be dependent on nobody else. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. Because you lose. Um, everybody needs to have. It's not when I say street sense. I mean like just like your awareness, your surroundings. Doesn't mean like <laughs> I'm not talking about like colors and stuff like that. I'm just saying like I can. Okay, I need to make sure when I get in the car, I lock the 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 basic the basic essentials to get out and do the minor things to get out and survive in life. Like some, I don't think a lot of those rich kids sometimes are very very sheltered from that. Okay, I missed there. So, so what they Blue Ivy? What she what she doing? She like modeling and stuff, right? Yeah, and she was just performing with uh, Beyonce. I'm pretty sure she has all kinds of like other stuff underlying. I don't really know um, they like a clothing brand or anything like that. But even in you know what I'm saying, they said they said Northwest up. You know what I'm saying? She, she go be a, a musician. You know what I'm saying? So even after dad and mom, you know what I'm saying? She she go keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Early mm -hmm. on, she getting it going. So that's I tip my hat to them. Yeah, that's dope to set your kids up like that. Um, if you had, if you were rich like that, would you want a huge house to leave to your kids, or would you like? Uh, Fifty Cent got rid of that house he he got from Tyson. And he said, it, it, first of all, the electric bill was too much. It was like hella, hella a lot. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And then getting to dad throw parties, and the next day they find women hiding in the closet. That's like them large ass houses, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I would want it. I I've lived in a pretty big house 
when I lived in Georgia. I didn't really, I don't really like a big house. Oh, you were scared probably because you were, you was a girl. You know what I'm saying? Not just, you, not you just kids. Yeah, and not just that. Like I love to clean, so my house was spotless. But it's like with the, I do everything with attention. So I just, it's a, it was a lot like for me, like a lot to clean. And I clean from top to bottom, morning, night. It was a lot. So. I just, and I don't like all that space. Like, oh my goodness. I don't like clutter, but I just want to, I don't know. I just can't do big houses like that. It's just too much. I don't know who's in my house. Oh uh, yeah. Mm -mm. And all the windows. Nope. Hey, right, but, but, but them three, them three babies right there. That's, that's, that's motivation. You gotta, you gotta, uh, you gotta, uh, guide your kids. Like, you know how to be like, I, I leave it up to my, my kids. They could be whatever they, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Make, but not kind of like guide them in that direction. You know what I'm saying? Then. Plan, plan and form is, but if they not feeling it, they'll probably split her off. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because your kids is your investments. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You got to really like. As long as they're being raised right, it seems like all these, um, those three kids that are being named, it seems like, I mean, from the outside, like, I don't right. know. right. You can't help. I can't say you can't help it, but like, raised, like they already been born into some, you know what I'm saying? Um, Silver spoon. That's a gold spoon. I think it does play, that does play a big role though. Being, having some type of morals. On the flip side, the celebrity kids is, ha, has been towed up over the years, so maybe they go, you know what I'm saying, switch the narrative up. Yeah, that, that was where I was going with it, so. Because they, we, we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's a lot. That is a lot when you think about it, like, to have, that's a big, <laughs> that's a lot of money Blue Ivy got, I know that much. <laughs> hey, but the difference is, these kids was born rich. The ones that was towed up, they came into fame as a, they ran into fame as a young kid, and mm -hmm. I don't think they know how to deal with it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It was like all of a sudden. So that's the difference. Very true. Very true. We go, we go pray for our celebrity, celebrity children. We ain't talking about them three. I think they gonna be all right. But we go, uh, you know. Hey, hold on. Was was what you call it? Born rich? Uh, uh, Kardashian, Kim. Them? No, huh? Um, I don't know if that would be considered rich to them now, but they had some money there. Her dad was a uh, a lawyer. That yeah, were right. So, oh, they was I probably wasn't rich. They was balling. Yeah, they they was balling basically. They had money because she used to work for um, was she Brandy's assistant? Right. Kim. Yeah. So uh, that's how Ray J, Ray J. Yeah. Ray J. got the hidden. <laughs> yeah. That's how Ray J hit it first. You hear me? Yeah. So yeah, she has some she has some connections, and she was Paris Hilton's like a. Uh, what is it called? Um, she was like working in her closet. I can't think of it. Paris Hilton and Kim, back, they had tapes back then. They was getting it going. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, they, they have money. Hey, look, Ray J, bro. Ray J is the GOAT. Like, <laughs> I'm going to tell you why. Why is that? No no disrespect, but he, he hit Whitney, bro. You hit a diva. Okay, so what is their what was their age difference? Uh, I don't know. Let me see. I don't know. They had what, like a twenty year age difference. I don't know, but I know, I know. To say, uh, for me to be ever like, man, you know, I had Whitney Houston. That that's some that's a that's a flex. Mm hmm. What you could keep the Megans and the, you know, what I'm saying I got Whitney. So it's a flex because she's Whitney Houston. She's a diva. Okay, so she's a a beautiful black woman with with, with milestones and accolades. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, what what was there more to say? Eighteen year difference. So they have an eighteen year difference. Hmm. That 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 bring it. Oh, that's a good segue right there. Eight, 18 year old dude. You, you know what's funny? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't exceed, I, I exceeded that that difference, but the only difference is it don't matter because the woman wasn't rich. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it, don't, it don't matter. Big homegirls don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so when you dated somebody or whatever, the, we didn't date. Uh, I know, you know, I'm trying to be okay, as okay, proper okay. as possible or yeah. most respectful as possible. Do you, was that like, did you hit on the lady first? Or did she hit on you first? Uh, and I, I, I didn't had that more, more, more than one time. And it ended, ended up being both ways. Did you realize as you got older, like that wasn't right? It, that wasn't okay. It wasn't right. If I'm just asking you, was that right? Wait, how old were you? Oh, I, I didn't think nothing was wrong. I, I, I was, uh, 
I didn't think it was wrong. I, I always been mature for my age. I hear I hear a lot of men saying that. I no. hear men saying that, and they they'll you know experience with older women. But well, when I was fifteen, my girlfriend was twenty twenty one. So if it's vice versa, and a man does it to a girl, then it's wrong, right? But they did back in the days. Our grandmothers all whether people want to uh, acknowledge it or not, it, it was twenty five or something, and. Uh, they got married to and the girl was seventeen or had kids. Like, Fourteen. <laughs> I was trying to be nice. You yeah, know what I'm they, so, it was very young. But like a lot of stuff is frowned upon these days. But that's how it was back then. Yeah, most definitely. And it's it, the crazy part is it still happening. Like child marriage is still happening right now too. What you mean? In other countries, child marriage is still happening right now. It's a, actually a documentary on Netflix you guys could watch. <laughs> Hey, let me let all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me point something out. You notice whenever you watch the news and we hear about these teachers. Uh, having relations with with the students, right? Mm -hmm. Why is it always Caucasians that get cracked with this? Because if that was some black kids having relations with these teachers, it would never get out. Um, as of recently, it has though a, a black student, mm -hmm. a black student with a with the um a, with a white teacher. So a black so it got out with a black student having sex with a, with a teacher. Oh no, I was gonna say a black student with a black teacher, but no, no, I, I haven't actually. What you just said that that actually doesn't make sense. I haven't really seen that. If it went over my head, no, I haven't seen that. Black kids ain't go tell that, bro. And 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 then and then mamas gonna be mamas. If you're a black kid, you ain't gonna tell your mama though, because mama's gonna be defensive. Yeah. Like me, for instance, say if I'm 14 and my teacher giving me some goodies, if I tell my pops. That's all right. You know what I'm saying? My mom, my mom, she, she going to be putting on her shoes on her way. My mom will go catch a case on the teacher. As she should. I would do the same thing too, having a 14 year old, because a woman can groom a child just the same, same way that a man could groom a young girl too. Like it's either way you look at it, it's, it's wrong, it's wrong. But but why? But but why every time you watch the news, it's always the white kids. So I let it get out. Stop telling y'all parents, <laughs> dummy. You don't want a, you, you go get an A, period. No, that's not good. Do not promote that. No, that's not okay. Young brothers. No. Tell your parents. No. Tell your parents. Don't do it. Why would you even do it if you'll tell your mom? Because they're a child. They're not these these this a grown that's an adult. That's instilling fear in your child. That's once you start doing grown activities with an older person, okay, first of all, if you're doing grown activities as a child, you're already you're not going to be the same anymore. But when you're messing with someone that's older, that's that's not right. That's not okay. Huh. I don't know if we can say the P word on here, but yeah, that's... That's what? Pedophilia. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think that's it. No, no. no, that's not okay. Okay, so what about... uh? Woo! Because you know these, these, these women be sack chasers. You hear about uh, Drea? Yes. Drea, she's uh, Orlando Scandrick's baby, baby mama. And she's pregnant by Jalen Green. And he played for the Houston Rockies. Mm -hmm. He's 22 and she's 39. She have a son, Jalen's age. Mm -hmm. Right or wrong? He's of age. She's of age. What you think? <sighs> this one's really hard. Because legally, okay, we know legally it's okay. So she's not, I won't, won't call her disgusting because I see a lot of people are trying to tear her down in that aspect. Hmm. I just think for him. No, 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 no. <laughs> You said you are caught up discussing because you've seen a lot of people trying to tear it down. I'm talking about what you think. No, it don't matter what everybody else trying to do. I want to know your opinion. What you think about it? Mm. You ain't got to. You don't know that lady. Go ahead and give me your opinion. I just. Oh, man. Why would. Because you, your son is the same age. That's just weird. Like. I, I don't I don't know I just you know spit it out <laughs> that just that I don't think that's a that was a good I don't think that was a good move like okay I'm just, 
and 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 that and her son is an adult. So do she still consider him like boy? You grown? You know what I'm saying? Because the people are based. I'm not trying to base it off her looks. I'm thinking of like the mental, his mental capacity and her mental capacity. Like, how you talking about Jalen mental and her mental? Yeah, like he's he. Think of yourself at 22 trying to be with the 40 year old. Like, everybody, everybody mature different. Yeah, that's why I'm like I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But my thing is, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have put a baby in her. I would just would, she just would have been spanked down, and that's it. Because when I get uh thirty five, you know what I'm saying? She got mental pause, and she go through womanly things. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I gotta think about me. So you not about to drain me for all my youth. That's 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 where I was thinking. Like, okay, so he's gonna be drained of his youth. And then on top of that, it's, it's it's just a lot of things to unpack. Like that, I was thinking about that a lot. Like when I first seen it, like you you're messing with his like that's like grooming to me in a nah, way. But, not grooming, but not grooming. This man is in the NBA. He didn't have all kind why. of he loved so far. You can't groom this 22 year old. Let me tell you Especially why. Especially in college, they uh, NBA prospects. They got all kind of ass. You know what I'm saying? But that's his baby's mother now. No, but it ain't no grooming. Grooming is grooming is is. Well, R. Kelly was doing with women, getting like having women prepared to have threesomes and all that. That's grooming. so you don't think you that taking grooming out of context? No, it, it's I'm gonna tell you why because she like okay, so how you would think at 22 you're dating somebody older, you're you're like skipping ahead because where she's at in her life right now, she's experienced a lot of amazing things and did a lot of things. So wherever he's at, she may be putting him down. Oh, like you're I, I already been there, done that. I, I'm grown as fuck. You're a little bass boy. Like that's like it's like. They're m- mentally, got, he, he he the breadwinner in this case. You know, I'm, you know his network. Jay got money. Hey, listen, she got money, but she don't have Jalen Green money. And then Orlando Scandrick is our baby daddy. He was in the NFL, but what is he doing right now? He was a he was an analyst for like a, a month, a sports analyst. You know what I'm saying? But I, Jalen Green is the breadwinner in this case. This situation is weird. I don't really know how I feel about it because that's why I, I can't really. I don't know. Let me tell you why. Hey, Alex, Alex, look, look up Jalen Green network for me real quick. She, she, she was on Basketball Wives, and her dude was in the NFL. So you know she's trying to get in where she fit in. She ain't even got the sport right. So like, that's five five million. So Jalen Green is five million. I thought it would be more. But still, contracts coming up. He's still early on in his his, his career. He's the breadwinner for sure. Okay, so because legally he's able to date her and have a baby with her, I don't this is really I don't know, because I know somebody who has who their mother had a kid with somebody that was twenty years younger. Than her too so it's like and they lived a good life up until her mother passed and that man is still in her her life and as her stepfather so um and they had a good life there was not so it, it, does it depend on the people i i don't i don't know because this these kind of topics kind of like um i'm just saying is people experienced enough to uh, mess with somebody with that age gap you know what i'm saying i believe Jalen green is based on he went to college and college with nba prospect and they throwing it at you so he didn't caught it quite often. You know what I'm saying? He not worried about that. Now he got he came into the money. You know what I'm saying? He it ain't like he got to worry about her and get spoon fed or anything. You know what I mean? And then due to that, they got other uh, uh they comparing it to other things. And I don't even know if know this to be true, but they saying mulatto little sister talking to Drake. Mm-hmm. I, allegedly, I don't know if whether this to be true. And I don't know how old the little girl is. They say she bad. She's really pretty. And, and Jake's supposed to be talking to her. I think she's like 20 or 21. Okay. And then I don't know how old Jake is, but we know that's the age gap, right? Mm-hmm. Then, they, then, then I hear Mulatto and 21 Savage. Mm-hmm. I don't know the age gap, but... Probably like six, seven years. That ain't bad. Yeah, that's... That's, that's not that's, bad. I think... I don't know. This this is kind of weird. I guess you would have to personally see how these people interact with each other. If it's not like control, any type of form of abuse and... It's about maturity. Yeah, but you, but at twenty two, as a or twenty one, as a man, like you're so young. Like, 
for women, you're we're young. Don't get me wrong, but like, but women do mature, mature faster. Diff- than yeah, we males. mature differently and faster, and we think differently. But for like, you gotta think he has so much more to experience. He's earning twelve million this year, sixteen million next year. Hey, so so twelve million. Jalen Jalen, he's earning twelve million this year, and how much next year? Sixteen. Sixteen next year. All right, we got an update. Jalen is earning 12, 12 million this year. Next season, sixteen. Hey, bro, he he's the breadwinner. You know what I mean? You know, you know what I mean? She she not running shit. She might not. That's what I don't really know. I don't know, like, because she look honestly looking at her. I would have never. Thirty nine is not old, first of all, but she don't look thirty nine either. It's it's really weird. I don't it's, know. It's it's, it's 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 not like twenty two and thirty nine is good for now, but me personally, Munchie, this ain't gonna last long because once you get like up in the well, hold on, she got a little time. Let me see. Being your fifties is not even old. She got ten years with me. Me being Jalen and this and this her, she got she got like eight years or something. Cause uh, they women, they body go through things, bro. <laughs> and and you know what I mean. I need somebody my age, my speed, my you know. I say okay, look with Madonna. Madonna was taking shit down way younger than her. Okay, so Tupac, uh, 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 uh what's my boy name? Uh, I want to say Dennis Rodman. Cher and um, she's with um, Amber Rose's baby daddy. Cher's in her seventies. Oh, he. Oh, she will. will, will uh, A E, I think. Oh uh, no, no, no! You saying it wrong, but I know you're talking about. Yeah, it is A E. I think A and E. I don't know. It's the dude that like... made that taste, taste. He made that beat. Yeah. So in there, they have a huge gap too. She's in her seventies. So should we just mind? Should the world just mind their freaking business <laughs> if it's legally okay? If, I mean, if you legal or because who are we? Who who is society to call call these people out for if if it's legally okay, quote unquote? Who is society to say that if these people are not complaining? I, I don't wish, know. Like I, I don't. I, I wish we had a plan. I call my mom because look, look, look. Because when I was fifteen and I was dealing with my little my little situation, my mom used to be on there like, "What you want with my son?" You feel me? Mm-hmm. And then I was in jail. And I turned eighteen in jail. The girl called my mom like, oh, he 18 now. My mom was like, click. <laughs> on everything. On God. I think maybe it's like the young and fun, the charisma. Somebody that's younger than you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so Mariah. Mm-hmm. We don't like to uh, reference the comments, but we going to do it. Everybody just, oh, Mariah's a snack. Mariah this, Mariah that. Oh, can I take her out? Okay, now Mar- when Mariah get 40, right? Mm-hmm. This dude 25, mature for his age. He got a career. Gentlemen, you find him handsome. He can't get no shot at you because he's 25 and you're, and you're 40. <laughs> now I think about it, because I think, I think you, you go, hmm. Okay, so let me keep it 100. So, go ahead, keep it 100. Um, Keep it a big tree. Tip, typically, I get hit on by younger dudes, right? All the time. Mm-hmm. And they like nine, ten years younger than me. I'm like, what do you want? I'm grown. But they don't look at me like that. They're like, no, you're not. I, I can't. So it happens to me a lot. And I'd be like, oh, my God, that's so weird. Like, I feel like I'm, I look like I got kids. Like, I'm grown as hell. But to, to other people, it doesn't come off that way. Like, they think that I'm younger and that's that's not true i don't know i, I i've been I, that's why i've been badly thinking about this because that happens to I'm me glad a lot you admitted that you, you, you don't know you up in air with it because <laughs> it, it happens to me a lot like 25 and 40 is like what do you necessarily quote unquote want with somebody that's younger than you meet like it, it i don't i don't know it's kind of like it's it's really hard to unfold here um now what i personally want that for my kids absolutely not but I don't know. That's a lot. <laughs> it's. I just gotta. I just gotta come different based on. I got two daughters. If I had two sons, I could be a little bit more lenient. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I got two daughters. I gotta like. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because it's people's intentions too. Like you don't really know what people's intentions are. Um, it's just it shouldn't be right. But our grandparents were doing it too. So it's like I don't. I don't know. It's a lot. 
That's a lot. It's about to give me a headache to think about this. Hold on, it's one more. I know Jay Z and, and Beyonce was a gap, but I can't say it's that much of a gap. Was that what they like ten years or? 50? Uh, I think he was in his thirties and she was already eight. She was eighteen. We gonna leave. We gonna leave Jay Jay and B alone. We gonna leave them alone. No, but that's a big. That's a that's a big one too. Hmm. I don't see. I don't. I don't know. Cause who are who? Like when I really sit and think, like who are who am I to say you? you that's that's wrong. Because okay, if I'm, you're, I'm, since we talk, we, we ain't gonna talk about Beyonce and Jay Z age gap. I'm gonna ask you this. I'm gonna pivot a little bit. Do do money make a person look more attractive? Like that right there. Because I all right, cause I don't judge males, right? But I know for a fact, Lil Boosie an ugly nigga, bro. Mm -hmm. Period. <laughs> so I, I know her females like, oh, oh Boosie fine. I'm like, he yeah, rich, right? So keep it keep it a bench. Do you think money make a person more attractive? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm. If I'm just being honest, yeah. Are you? Is that the ultimate goal for someone like me? No. Uh. Name your name. Name, name your your top celebrity crush. Three. Three. Top. You name one. I still don't know, can't picture who he is. You you keep saying a nigga name. Oh, you know who is so fine to me. You probably don't even know who he is. His name is Skepta. He's from the UK. He's forty. Oh my God. He's fine. Let me just want to say forty because he looks good. Like he looked like he's he's in his early twenties. Skepta. Yeah, he's and what, a, like. And what do we do? He's a what are they? It's not drill. UK, it's grime. Oh. They call it grime rapping or something. He's a grime rapper. I think he acts. I think he models in a little bit like. Skepta. Yeah, he's like a like a hood UK type vibe dude. Hey, Skepta, man, tap in. We need an interview. You hear me? <laughs> yeah, he in the UK. He's fine. Tap in on tap out. All right, number two. Who number who number two? Kofi, the same one I named last time. Damn man, we ain't gonna know none of your. Are right, are right, where Kofi from? Uh, he's from LA. He's from the, yeah. He's from LA. Yeah, he is from LA. Yeah. yeah. And what do we do? He's an actor. Okay. He's from he's from Ghana originally. Okay, okay. Coffee. You you like foreigners? Ghana, UK. All right. We got Skepta, Coffee, and who's number three? Mm, let me think. Don't, don't, don't just force it. We want to know. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> this is my top two right now. All right, we we go we go we go leave that there. Going to the forty. Yeah, that's just the top two I could think of. Hmm. It's a it's a lot of good good looking men. But you asked me about does money make people look attractive? Yeah, look at flavor fla for the love of flavor. How that show went? Flavor. For the love for the love of uh, flavor love or some shit. You be messing me up. Flavor of love. Yeah. Um. Okay, no, that's that's absolutely like boozy, like you. <laughs> Flavor, flavor, absolutely, yo. <laughs> yeah, they they like that's they give Uncle like I be saying when I see Boosie do something funny, I'm like, oh look at Uncle Boosie. Like I don't look at him like that. Like, cause you got money, you can fix yourself up, you get your teeth fixed, stuff like that. Are you do you mean like that? Like money making you attractive? Oh, nah, just the fact that you got money, now you attractive because you got money. You got the you got the chains and the drip, but you know what I'm saying? Okay, well, you gotta have personality too. Hey, I'm gonna tell you what's what's bad for females, right? And I ain't even talking about rich, I'm talking about at any uh any pay rate. Males is winning because all you gotta do is have a cool little personality. You know I'm saying carry yourself the right way. Even if you're an ugly nigga, you kinda you kinda cool. But if you're a female, it's kinda you kinda messed. If you ugly, you, you gotta you gotta compensate. Like you gotta you better have some some ass or something, or some, you better have some some money or something. Like males could get away with being an ugly dude and still be having females, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um yeah I, okay so i don't know about the female females being ugly i don't know about that part but i will say personality will take you further with someone like me hmm. so you have to have like and you got to have like a crazy belief system like you got to be really like raw. it don't even your money yeah it, does, it may make you look like dripped out or whatever but it doesn't mean any like it doesn't that's your money that ain't my money i'm gonna say your sexual bro I, I, I'm, if, if I just tell I know, wham, bam, thank you, man. I'm talking about like females, I'm a keep. You gotta have like, you know what I'm saying? A good personality, you know what I'm saying? And, I, and some type of like, some type of intellect, you know what I mean? No, yeah, no, for not some not type. You gotta really have some intellect to really. Nah, you ain't gotta be like a baby genius, but nah, like, but... some type of like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so have you ever 
talked to some girl and she tried to match her energy, like try to act like she was interested in other things, like things that you were interested in, like fake act like she was into that just to get close to you or just to pursue, just so she can pursue you or you could pursue in her? Mm, nah. I act like, nah, cause I like the females. I like I, I kind of enter their world, like you know what I'm saying. Okay, I, I was saying, I was asking that only because that happens. That happens to me often. Like <laughs> dudes we try to shoot their shot, and so, they act so, like so they, they so get, interested. acting like they into history and things yeah, like that. Yeah, and they'd be like, no, you're not. Hmm. Or they're trying to act overly deep, and they'd be like, you're not. You're not. Just be you. You can get further if you just be yourself, and I, I show you where you get placed in my life. You the homie for real. <laughs> That's it. That's I know I could talk politics. I could talk relationships. I could talk music. I could talk relationships. That's all right. Yeah. I could talk music. I could talk history. I could I, I could do that. I could, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the female alone, I could do that. Okay. For sure. Okay. So that yeah, that's that's how it's supposed to be. For but sure. But back man. to that, because I know people when you ask them that question. I'm going to get shredded apart because you see this money. You know, they think this is the era of women are considered gold diggers. Mm. So when you said that, I just want to make be clear. I get my own. <laughs> that is it. I that is it. I'm self sufficient. I take care of my own. Hey man, hey to the brothers out there, man, stop chasing clout and chase cash, bro. All that shit come with it. Don't even worry about it. Chase the bag, and the B I T C H is gonna chase you. Don't even worry about it. And hopefully you land you a good woman and not one that's just after your money. Yeah, because Dre, I just would have smashed her. I would have spanked her down. Not like, no disrespect to her, but like, you know what I mean? Based on, like, we ain't about to walk into the sunlight together based on the age gap, you know what I mean? Or, you know what I'm saying? Or if you, you know. But I'm pretty sure she's a, a good woman. So in your opinion, um, as long as a person is legal, it, it shouldn't matter. Like, what is the outrage? Well, what I what I deem okay for the, for the world ain't the same for my kids. I, I you know what I mean. I don't want my daughter to mess with nobody with that age guy. Yeah, me either. My Absolutely kids. Mm -hmm. But if I was just throwing shit out there, that's something different. So don't listen to me because I'm I'm gonna be uh I'm gonna be biased like with this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I agree with you on that. Um, I definitely agree because I don't know how he was raised, so I don't know what his maturity level is on. So yeah, <laughs> I mean that's on them. But my kids, I wouldn't want that. Hmm. Yeah. All right. And uh what we had uh, that uh my boy uh free uh Treyway. Free Treyway, man. He been down for some time. He in the uh he in the state penitentiary. No, I mean, and uh it is a place you're supposed to rehabilitate rehabilitate yourself cuz they don't do it. You know what I mean? So, once you there, you take that time out to get your mind right. And the way I look at it, jail either make you. Well, I'm all right. All right. Start from juvenile hall in my mind, either make you worse or better. It ain't it, like it ain't no in between when it's come to juvenile hall either. Mess you up even worse. Every week you there, you get worse, or you like oh, I don't want to be here, or you just get right. That's juvenile hall. But now, Treyway, he's in a penitentiary though. It seemed like he matured. You know what I'm saying? He on live, people asking him questions, and everybody know him from from his antics. He was getting it cracking at the court building, with with his, with his enemies fighting and stuff. Uh, he was going live with his enemies. They they trolling him. He trolling back. He dissing, and his name is Treyway. Six K, so the Six K is being disrespectful to his his enemyhood. You know what I mean? But uh, run a clip real quick, Double A. Whoever fuck with me, I ain't gonna cap on the I don't be for no nigga fool. No, I, I don't be for no nigga fool. If you ain't never shot me, you ain't never smoked my homie. If you if, if if you try to get some money together, let's do it on the dead homies. What you talking about? He said, dread it. <sighs> I don't know. Look, I want to do those twisty type shit. You know, that hangover a little bit. I'm gonna burn Mickey. Yeah, but man. For real, for real, I ain't gonna cap. God and open up a nigga eyes to some whole different type of, you know. I don't know if it's the prayers. Look, Bobster for I don't know how beef with AS and Bobster. At the, at that point in my life, bro, I was a kid. Oh, um, bro, I just told y'all uh, real Harlem niggas, real that nigga big homies on the damn homies, real Harlem niggas on the damn homies and ran backstage for me on the damn homies. I ain't gonna cap.
Y'all call me what y'all want, man. I'm gonna get the check. On oh, I'm gonna get the check. We all gonna get it together, man. Yep, it's good. I'm gonna call you after this, cuz I don't beef for no nigga. I ain't gonna cap. I'm trying to get this money. All I want is money. Yeah, no GFE, bitch. I don't gotta go to work. I bleed her feet. I'm the dead homie. And I, I don't care. I really don't care. That's what I'm saying. These comments are being saying. But it's all right. It's all right. Y'all just trying to take me into the ball stage right away. That's why I can't. That's why I can't cut the hair. Cause once I cut the hair, get the showing game tats and all that, that's what I turn back in the ball fade. 20, 2018, 2019, right, 2021, Trey Way. Like it's 2024. Let me get my fucking bag. So y'all heard Trey Way. Y'all heard him before he even went to the pen where he was at. Y'all hear what he what he talking about now. Comments saying what they saying. You know what I'm saying? He uh he, he said he wouldn't have worked with ASM Bobster, which is from Hardham Crib. Would it be a rival of the Hoovers? He also, we didn't we didn't let it play all the way, but, you know, X4, he, he out of jail now. That's good. He home. He get back to, you know what I'm saying, doing his music. He said he'll work with who work, want to work with him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He said he don't be for no ninja. And I just hope it's, uh it, it ain't jail talk. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, hopefully it's genuine because... Like I said before in here, I think you stop your growth when you... If you're going to be in the music industry, you know because you're in the music industry, how, like, not being able to work with certain people, that's going to stop your money too, right? Or not being able to go to certain places because this person and this set and this and that and all the politics that go behind it. Yeah, yeah, it, it could, it could, but, but, uh... Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it stop your money because, you know, they got people on the line about to perform and then you got to get him in and out and then you can't be at this show and he there. So that like all the beef and this stuff do stop the, stop, stop the dough. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that, but, but I just want to know when he come home, is he go still be on the same script that he just ran right now? It was so cool. You know what I mean? Or is he going to get back to, you know what I'm saying? Cause peer pressure or MF, but in my opinion, X4 not doing no music with no hovers. He not doing it. I reacted to the, well, we reacted. I reacted. We reacted to when a Alex had a uh, interview X4, and he said, "Would he ever do music with a blood?" And he's like, "Uh, Frosty is boy, but you know they'd do a song, but they wouldn't put it out due to the politics." Mm -hmm. I said that's a that's a waste of uh, studio time. Why why would you even you know what I'm saying? Put, if y'all record it, put it out. You know what I'm saying? But you know uh, you know no. But that's cool though. That 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 you know Trey Way on this on this uh on this positive path though. Okay, so being an artist in L.A. because the politics are much different in others. I think in cities and states. Um, do you think that gangbanging shouldn't be in music then? Like if it's just gonna be strictly music, there's no gang banging the music. What or, you mean, like talking about talking it about your hood, all those type of things? Because then That's impossible. Then it ain't no such thing as gangster rap. But that means you'd have to be more creative. Yeah, yeah. But. If you can make, if you can do music and really be an artist and not have to talk about. Let's say where you your specific streets. That are, ain't fair though, because that's talking about your, your your life and your experiences and stuff. But everybody else that's not talking about it, they still talking about their experiences and stuff. You know what I'm mean? saying? Okay, so let's say you talk about your experiences, but you're not dissing nobody, you're not dissing another neighborhood, or you're just taking like stuff that'd be quote unquote offensive to another hood or whatever the case may be. A lot be. of these gangster rappers don't don't diss hoods though. Like YG, B P T, he not dissing nobody hood. Or uh, like a gang of these these these, these gangster rappers, like who else is like? Uh, uh, let me see. I mean, Nipsey wasn't dissing nobody. Good. He was just. And he was, but he was able to work with other artists too. Different. Yeah, but see the thing with, with like when they when they, I, I'm not in, I'm not impressed with YG and Nipsey working together because they hoods ain't enemies. You know what I'm saying? The sixties don't care about the tree tops. They way in Compton. You got to get on three freeways to get to them. Like so, if I would have heard uh, Nipsey. Do a song with Schoolboy Q, which is he's from Hoover. Then that that's showing some that's showing you know what I'm saying some growth. They're like, ooh yeah, that's that's something. YG and Nipsey doing a, a song together that ain't that just that ain't nothing. That that ain't nothing like 
it's like some real immediate enemies like X Foe and, and uh Trey Way doing a song together, that that would be big for they age bracket and, and you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Which it would never happen because X Foe not there yet. He ain't X Foe done been to the pen before him. He ain't doing it. Oh, I could tell you that now. I just think that in my honest opinion, nobody's bigger than the program. So but I mean it's growth. Which program? <laughs> music industry everything nobody's bigger than nothing you stopping yourself from growing and making money from not being able to work with each other i'll do a song with who i want to do a song with but i it ain't, it, I, it ain't no 60s I, I care to do a song with i like i like conrad music but i, I wouldn't do a song with him i'm cool mm. well they're kind of young so i don't know i don't listen to la i'm just like i already said that before so i don't know what they be talking about in their music to be honest they up and coming though. You, you don't listen to the L.A. mainstream artists. They don't. They don't count as up. And, like they up and coming. They not mainstream. What would be? What would be? Mainstream is like Gang, YZ, uh, Kendrick, uh, Ty Dolla Sign. Ty Dolla Sign. Uh, uh, what's my boy out of? Uh, 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 what's my daughter like this dude? To, uh, what's the dude name? Uh, come on from Park Village. What's his name? Roddy Rich? Roddy Roddy Rich. Tiger. Tiger. You ain't messing with none of them? Yeah, I used to listen to it, like Joe Moses. But yeah, some somewhat, but not like probably like one song. Like I said, I don't listen to like <laughs> albums in a whole like category. I, I, I was, I'm talking about like like just singles that'll be on the radio. Yeah. By, by any of them. Yeah, by default, like if I hear, yeah. Okay, did you become a Nipsey fan after he passed? No, I was listening to Nipsey way before then. Okay. Cause you know a lot of people jumped on board after he passed away. Oh no, I I used to see Nipsey at the club all the time. So like we was been listening to Nipsey. What club? Empire in Hollywood. Oh, I remember Empire. Mm-hmm. No, we was I, we had been listening to him. And then him and YG when they came out with um, <laughs> what's that song called? That's what hoes. No, that's Shut what hoes do. <laughs> uh, that's what hoes do. What I don't know that. What's that? Oh, uh, it's, it's it's funny that's actually. They going do. back and forth. Like you just have to listen to it. That's what hoes do. Oh, I listen to this. Yeah, but no, nah, I was I was listening to Nipsey before then. Yeah, I used to listen to probably when I was younger. I think cause as I got older, like I don't really listen to certain artists no more. It just like don't probably sit well with, with my lifestyle. That's all. So what rappers you do listen to? When talking about California, like what rappers? <laughs> if I say this, y'all gonna think I'm crazy. Um, yeah. sh- Shoot, every but they like for like Memphis, Atlanta. Like I like Get Young Nudie. I like Young Nudie. I like Little Tyler. I think he's from Florida. Um, young Nudie's from Atlanta. Um, uh, Big Thirty. Um, I like all of uh, Gucci Mane's artists. Um, she said all his artists. <laughs> yeah, he, I like like those. I like those type of beats, like the Memphis beats, like Atlanta sound. I, okay, I you know. like a, you like a certain sound. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, I like I do like are all like pretty much um all the old like um Webby, the old Boosie, um, all those artists over there. Like Lil Fat, all I like, that. I like I like old, I like old Boosie versus new Boosie. I like Yeah, the old I don't listen to nothing new Boosie. Yeah, I like <laughs> I like the I like the older Boosie. I like, what Webby, Webby need to get back to his you know what I'm saying? I like the Webby, like, you know what I'm saying? Back in the days. Yeah. He don't even drop now. I don't know why I'm saying back in the days, but okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, like the old yeah, you know, you see, you see my sound. If I'm listening to like other type of music, yeah, that's what I be listening to. Okay, 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 I get it. All right, well, give me, or give me some female artists. Give me, give me two, give, give me one female artist, because I think three gonna be hard for you. Miss. Like rapping. Hmm. I don't got none. All right, that's fair to say. Yeah, I don't, I don't. like my boy Smack say fair to say. Yeah, I don't really. It's no. It's no. It's not. It's just like I. I can't. I don't know. All right, R and B female. Ooh. I could go three of them. Go give me three. That's be new or old. Period. It don't even matter. Um, Aaliyah. Um. So what's her name? Summer Walker. I'm trying to think of somebody new. Dang, I can't think. I listen to so much. I don't know. <laughs> Sade. I don't know. <laughs> Sade, Sade, Summer it's Walker, uh, Lauren Hill, um, 
I'm surprised you didn't say Lauren Hill first. Yeah, I was just thinking, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think. I listen to some, a variety of I different types of music. You on the spin out of. Yeah, why are you making me think right now? Yeah. Oh my goodness. These, this, today was very hard. You had me thinking about deep stuff, and I was not trying to use my brain yeah. today. <laughs> hey, look, all right, I'm going I'm to. Uh, are you are are you up to speed with the with the uh with the T Rail and Big Deal thing? No, I'm not. Inform okay. me on what's going on. Do you even know who Big Deal is? I don't. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> All right. You know T Rail is. Yes. Back on fig. All right. So. All right. Let me see where should I start this saga so I can get you up to speed. Okay, 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 okay. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Are they friends or brothers? They're or brothers. They're brothers. They're okay. blood brothers. Okay. Now back in the the, the Tiger days, you know, uh, T Real, you know, that's who had Tiger hanging around the Hoovers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Boom. So you know, Tiger, 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 he was associating with the Hoovers back. You remember that hard in the paint? Mm -hmm. He did all the Hoovers was in here. Everybody's on the thing. Okay, okay, okay. Now you got T Real. That's his right hand man, and Big deal is Tiger's little brother, official Hoover. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, they had a blowout because, you know, as of recently, what happened was in San Diego with AD, he was with OT Genesis. And, you know, they had a little a little rumble. And like I always say, if it ain't on camera, it didn't happen. Unfortunately, that's how it go these days. I know the real story what happened with AD. They got the ass end of it. He was sitting on the floor, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, back on Fed covered it or whatever. All right, boom. Now, t Real little brother, big deal. He's talking about it, talking about it. Then he come up to back on Fig, talking about it. And t Real trying to, all right, that's enough type shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But big deal, like, man, so y'all talked about it, China. What, what, what's wrong with me talking about it? But I get it. T Real, AD, they, they got the same jersey. So, you know what I'm saying? It's fake immunity. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, we ain't about to do all that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They have a major blowout. Major blowout. So, they get to going from that to go do something like, you could, you, why you talking about it? Go get you some money. That's what he sent to his little brother. Big deal. Now, Big deal, like, get some money. Like, you my brother, you got this platform. Give me a show. You know what I'm saying? I'll be coming on here. You know what I'm saying? I'll be, I'll be, I'll be bringing a sauce. You know what I'm saying? They be chiming in. They be putting little emojis in the chat for me and all that. Help your brother out. He like, nah, you go do it on your own. You know what I'm saying? Now, you could tell, like, when they, because it's starting to get real spicy amongst siblings, which I hate that it transpired like that in front of the world and y'all brothers. You know what I'm saying? But me, being a viewer, I could tell it stands for somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. And here go the clip. Big deal, why you let that go to sleep on man? Cause with like 50 people cutting your oh shit. My yeah, God. we ain't doing all that, nigga. You ain't coming here getting comfortable and falling asleep, nigga. You gotta go, nigga. You gotta go. Same yeah. on you, nigga. It was let like, the hey, bitch do her thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah let the bitch on? do her thing. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. like Big Deal. If people came for her, not you. Yeah, yeah. Cut, cut, I got to go yeah. in the car. Yeah. Nigga want to fall in there. He just chasing after the bitch. He want to fall asleep, be seen next to her and all that. Yeah. Like, we ain't doing that type yeah. of shit, my nigga. You feel me? Hey, if they came on a Big Deal show and fell asleep, what you would do, dog? I'm getting rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know right. what happened if you nigga cut it? Uh, you cut it? fell asleep on our platform? Man? All right. So, some time back, Stunner Girl came on back on Fig with... Her husband, you know what I mean. So who's Stunner Girl? Stunner Girl. Oh, uh, uh, she 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 from Sacramento, up north. She a rapper. Oh, okay. You know what I'm talking about? I've heard of her name. I've seen on social media, but I don't know who she is. All right. She she got a cool little buzz, Stunner Girl. She got the little 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 uh, voice like that's real. You it's gonna stand out. Like you know what I'm saying? She's on one of those baddie shows. Yeah, she oh, she, okay. she was on there and she popped back. I really think she she got a too big of a following to even be on there. But she appeared on there and she popped off. You know what I'm saying? She Left like all right, boom. Because I, I keep seeing her name floating around, so now, now I know, I I know who that was. Okay, so she got interviewed on back on fig, and her dude was right there going to sleep during the interview. You know mm. what I'm saying? Now, uh, after the interview, big deal, which is T Rail brother went on Community, 
as y'all gets heard, he, he, you could tell he was kind of saucy, kind of faded. And, you know, pun. And then was an action like, what you would have... I'm talking about him going to sleep. And what he said right there, they took offense to that. Uh, Stunner Girl and her dude took offense to that. You know what I'm saying? Because he said... He was talking crazy, like, yeah, what you think? You, you, you chasing after the B-I-T-C-H. Yeah, man, let her do the interview. You just want to sit in that, like, you know what I'm saying? Want to oh, be seen? Oh, okay, mm -hmm. uh-huh. So, pun, like, what you would have did I would, if, if that was the big deal show? I would have told him, wake up. You got to get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? So, they took mm. offense to that, right? So, due to them taking offense to that, stunning girl dude, I forget his name, Rich, young Rich Mula, I believe. If I got it wrong, excuse me. He pulls back up to T-Rail House because that's where they program out of, do all their work. He takes a picture in front of the house. They're making threats and all that. So it was a big deal. You know what I'm saying? So I think they got it squared away or whatever. And I think uh, T-Rail, mad at, after that interview that he went over to the community, did all that, and that ignited that. And I think he kind of resented his brother for making, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he his kids live at the house that that happened at. So, you know what I'm saying? He ain't saying it, but I think that's where his resentment come from. So basically the brother, he wants an opportunity to be like on podcasts and stuff like that, but he's it's not very careful, it seems like, with his mouth. No, nah, but and, see, but see, but see, but see, now that this AD thing came up and now they on they on stream talking about it, a lot of you can see a lot of stuff is seeping out. And and that kind of that came up. Like, so he like, yeah. He trying to say how T Rail, you not a real Hoover. You know what I'm saying? I am from Hoover. You know what I'm saying? And T Rail, like, you know, I did more for you than Hoover did. And that is going all into personal things. You know what I'm saying? I bailed you out of jail. I did this. I did that. And he's like, yeah, we'll, we'll go get you some money. Big deal saying, yeah, and keep your your, your B I T C H on my DM, which is Heather. <gasps> Why she checking me and addressing me about things as far as this? And, and you haven't said nothing. That's your job, which I agree. Mm -hmm. Like, my baby mama wouldn't be hitting my brother about something she not feeling, and I ain't even spoke on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it just went way haywire. So now, big deal. He doing interviews. You know what I'm saying? He didn't went up to no jumper. Some people were saying, is he, is, is, is he like this loyal for going to no jumper? But he looking like, y'all not really enemies. You know what I'm saying? You didn't say over and over you ain't got a problem with Adam. But then again, you go back and talk about his kids and talking about, and then y'all say it's cool. He said, man, uh, you said get my chili. I'm about to get my chili. I'm, I'm doing my rounds. I'm doing interviews. And so he he making his rounds now. Ooh. So he is capitalizing off a situation that happened with his brother and going to other platforms that he knows his brother does not get along with. I don't think he's doing it by design. I could be wrong. But the young rich mullah dude that took this picture and pulled up to t -Rail house and they squashed it, he knew went back up to No Jumper because of the recent back and forth with uh, T-Rail and uh, his brother. Because during the interview, he was, like, he was like, yeah, when they put up to your house and I was ready, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, T-Rail like, yeah, I was too. I was in the garage with, with my burner or some shit. And, and it, then he was like, nigga, we, nigga, I, nigga, I'm still on them niggas. And so... The young Royce Mula dude, like, hold on, what you mean y'all still on this? You know what I'm saying? So now he went up to No Jumper and he looking like, and he telling what happened. Like, yeah, I, I was in front of the house for 15 minutes. It is just an ongoing social media thing that could get serious. I don't think it's going to go nowhere in the streets, really. But I just, I just, I just wish it didn't have to play out. If the cameras really should have cut or somebody that was smack or whoever else was over there, like, you know what I'm saying, during all this. When them, him and his brother and it was getting deep, they should have cut the cameras. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. that's between siblings and y'all know when like they they saying shit hitting below the belt and all that and who ain't really this. Now the personal business is coming out that right. it's not good for the viewers to know. Um, it just sounds like Trell's grown in a different way. Like he's trying to get to a different level, and some you can't take everybody with you in to certain areas. Like, and his brother has probably he needs to. <laughs> from what I'm observing, what it sounds like he. It's kind of loose lip, like just saying things because he's that's just who he is, and you kind of have to be careful. Like you have to know how to work the internet. Buddy got he got a he 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 got a uh, he got a he got a I ain't gonna say an internet presence like he just like known, but he he got a presence. So whenever he go on his live, 
stream is the the viewers do go up. They he got they put the bears in the uh the bear emoji form and all like you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So he like damn, he tell him. Go go do content in your car. He like, damn, why I got to do that when my brother got a platform and you give me a show on your shit? Mm -hmm. He's like, do it on your own. Like, So it seemed like it's some personal little stuff going on. But then again, you know, I mean, T-Rose said he got his reset. It ain't just adding a show onto your platform ain't that easy. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It, 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 I don't know. They go both ways. Well, hopefully it doesn't spill out to, to be something more bigger and deeper. But what I'm observing and from what I, it sounds like to me, it just seems like um, his brother could cause more damage to his name and his brand, if anything. And if, if you want to, it, it sounds like he's just trying to make him probably be like, well, look, this is what I had to do from, from ground zero. And this is how I got it. Like, you got to do the, you got to put your, put the work in. But that sounds like he's saying that probably from underlying issues, which, you know. We don't know, but it sounds like maybe his brother. But honestly, that ain't where he's. No, that's not true though, because he started off with a no jumper following, then left there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you, you, it ain't like you like. But he put you, himself out there was, to he, get those opportunities. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. He didn't start off with no vi doing content in the car. No, no, absolutely not. He, like if I already had a hair start, I would help my brother out. Why? Why would I want my brother to? You know what I'm saying? Start like be in his car doing content he ain't got to. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know. It, everybody look at it different though. I be I've been watching how everybody feel about it, and you know what I'm saying. It, it go both ways. But me personally, I would my brother wouldn't have to start off doing content in a car, and I got a platform you could I, you could piggyback off of because you didn't start off in the car, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? It ain't why you want somebody to start off like you didn't. Okay, starting off in the car is 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 a stretch. That's what he said. He <laughs> yeah, said, that, said, is, said, that, said, that is that is a stretch. Go to your car. But, but um. I don't know. It, it just depends. It, it depends on the relationship too that you have with somebody. Like, I don't know, because it, when he's bringing his brother on his platform, are they are the people like engaging with him because of they're laughing at him, are they laughing with him, are they entertained? No, no, truly no, they, him? no, they entertained by him. They, 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 he, he, he bringing he bringing some uh, traffic. He bringing he bringing some traffic, but you know, I, I mean, T. Rail he focused on smacking Heather and him back on figging. You know what I'm saying? And that's what he focused on. He's he got Mondays and Fridays, and he said he ain't got time to be trying to add on shows. So I mean, you know, maybe maybe if they didn't have this falling out later on, if he had got it going, he said they only had a hundred fifty k subscribers, and he ain't satisfied with that to be adding a show. And I, I mean, I, I understand you can't force nobody to do nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean. He probably thinks that, well, I already brought you up on here, so that's that's enough. But if it was my sister, I would invest any of my sisters, older or younger, I would invest like if that if that was something that they wanted to do, I wouldn't probably make an investment or something. But we have a different relationship, obviously. So it's it's different. It really depends on the relationship you have with that person. I think he got a personality that 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 could carry a show. Uh the big deal dude. Mm -hmm. I think he do. Yeah. Like like, like he talks shit. And, and, but he 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 not saying nothing that's wrong. He probably just saying shit that people scared to say. So th sometimes if we're afraid to say things, you know, this is we're living in such an offensive area, like very sensitive. So sometimes it's probably not always good though. That's what I was saying. Are they laughing at him? Are they laughing with him? Are they entertained by drama? T Rail offend people also though. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I mean, shit. Smack said, "Fuck that bitch." Like he said. F Adam daughter like you feel me? Oh my god! All right, okay. So let me so ask like, this. So, so like, what you mean by like, you know what I mean? So should they ban drinking and podcasting? Because it sounds like a lot of these stuff, a lot of people be drunk on here. Uh, they can't do that. You can't tell what's in their cup. Eh? They, I could say this water, apple juice. I could say this. Not literally, but if you if you can think of. A lot of these incidents that happen on podcasts or any type of thing, some people are under the influence a lot of the time. Charlemagne made Lil Mama cry sober, bro. That man was sober. <laughs> That's a morning radio. That was a morning radio show. You ain't drunk in the morning, bro. Like Charlemagne offended a lot of people, bro. Yeah. He had to get it. He, you could tell he got it right now. He didn't got it right with God, or he meditate more, or he talked to his therapist more often, or something. He don't. He not as as offensive, but that ain't had nothing to do with alcohol. Wendy Williams, she that was her formula for years. She been offending people with two minutes. 
you know. Yeah, but she was on coke the whole time. Oh, don't do her. Her she, she just, everybody she, go ch- uh, check out dinner. Little she just drunk. Yeah, that's why. That's where I got it from. I didn't know that until I watched that. But I, I, I don't have nothing against Wendy. Ooh, see, look, Mariah called it. <laughs> she jinxed me. I believe it. Go ahead, carry us out. All right. Um, make sure you guys follow my Instagram at underscore Mariah with four H's underscore. Um, follow my YouTube Mariah Sharice. And um, make sure that you tune in and subscribe, comment, and like. Go ahead, Munch. Everybody, check me out. Instagram, MB underscore THA Mayor. MB underscore THA Mayor. That's on Thread, Twitter, Instagram. And uh, that's it right there. Tap in on Tap Out. Never thought we'd make it out. Cause we didn't take the safer route. Now it's ownership and bank accounts. The beef what they can't go out. Young and black on that paper route. They never thought we'd make it out. Hey, look. We don't flash money, we stash money. Get our roll on big time and like cash money. All my niggas chasing checks, rest in peace and sunny. Fat nigga whipping forms, fucking snow buddy.